Today is World AIDS Day. More than a million people living with HIV in the U.S. alone. It's an epidemic that's still spreading at an alarming rate, but there is hope now for a cure. KMIR's Matt Vandeveer has that story. Well, Timothy Ray Brown may not be a household name yet, but he's bound to go down in history. That's because he's the first person ever to be cured of AIDS. He was the keynote speaker at the World AIDS Day event held in Palm Springs today, and he spoke with me about going from living with the disease for more than 10 years to now being HIV negative. I'm the first person cured of HIV, but I don't want to be the last person. Nicknamed the Berlin patient, Timothy Ray Brown was diagnosed with HIV in 1995. Years later, he was also given another blow while in college in Berlin. Doctors told Brown he had leukemia. Test after test, doctor after doctor, and chemotherapy, it was decided the only way to cure his cancer was through a bone marrow transplant. It came back that I had a huge number of possible donors. And that gave him the idea to look for a donor who um, was in basically immune to HIV. Organizer of the World AIDS Day event, Raymond Bordeaux, says 10% of Northern Europeans have a mutation that prevents them from contracting HIV. They put that man's immune system into Timothy, and although it almost killed Timothy, and it was a super brave thing to do, Timothy did survive it. Three months later, um, there was no sign of HIV in my blood. People gathered at the Maryland statue to remember and also have a moment of silence. We not only remember where we've been with the AIDS epidemic, we remember those that we've loved and lost. We also look forward to the ending of this epidemic. Donald Beck came to the event to pay respects to all the people he lost to AIDS, including two partners. Known as a death sentence. And of course, a lot of my friends did past because of it. Timothy wears a red ribbon in remembrance and realizes he has made history in becoming the first person ever cured of AIDS. I've been told that I'm actually in textbooks now, which is pretty amazing. Raymond adds the key in preventing the spread of HIV is knowing your status. If someone gets tested, they end up taking treatment, their viral load goes down. As far as an official cure, Don is optimistic. I hope so. I'm 81 years old, so it better happen pretty quick. For more information on World AIDS Day and how to donate, go to our website, that's kmir6.com, and click on this story. Back to you.